Well, I've done it this time. Usually pretty haphazardly decent about uh, looking things up that I hear on the internet. What in the world is going on there? Even before I talk or publish anything, it's one thing to sound like a nut, but it almost makes it okay if people say, that guy is fucking nuts. But he's right. You know, at least you might get that out of something. It, 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 it makes up for it. It makes you at least... I'm not trying to bullshit anybody here. This is just trying to let you inside of my mind, and I screwed up. It seems a few days ago, I saw something, and it looked like artificial intelligence, too, and I think they're screwing with us to see how we react. And it acted like Clint Eastwood died and i was like oh shit i didn't make a big deal about it i didn't talk about it i just kind of felt too bad you know yeah. and like last night one of these same things looking like ai came up telling a story about henry winkler the fonz arthur fonzarelli you know Happy days are here again if we find out that he's alive because it acted like he was dead too. In a video, I said, I heard they died. I didn't say I knew. This is my apology. This is not even a disclaimer. This is a claimer. I, I claim I made a mistake here. But the thing is, how many times you, you think somebody's been dead for a while and find out they're not. Once you, they die, you're like, he's sure he's been dead forever. But I, ah, there was a guy that I worked with several years ago. He was like a 75 year old. He was turning 75 this birthday. Uh, he was from Burma, not Myanmar. He and his wife, they, uh, they say they're from Burma. They didn't like the change of the name. They'd gotten out of there like some years ago. But because he was from Burma and they didn't have like social security built up here, he was a sociologist in in Burma and he said he worked in the forest too, working with people. Seventy five this was this was many years ago. At least several. There was a crazy woman there. Every time somebody was having a birthday, she'd make them a cake and get them a card and she'd walk around and make everybody fill out this card. I'm like, I don't know what to write on these things. It always gets to be too much because I want it to mean something. I want it to be felt by the person that I'm writing it for. And so I'd have to come back and then I'd, uh, okay. Ah, there it is. She made him a cake. Albert, he was turning 75. And uh, I had the cake and she gave him his card sometime in the night. And at the end of the day, we're walking out. I'm standing outside smoking a cigarette. I always smoke a cigarette before getting on the road after work because I don't think you should take that kind of rage on the road if you're off the clock. And I'm standing there and here comes Albert. He, he comes out the door and he looks at me. He says, you! You cursed me. Oh, I forgot to tell you. What I wrote in there, everybody's saying you know, happy birthday and all this and that. And to Albert, I just said, why don't you just die already? And I signed my name. I thought we were good enough friends that I could say something like that, but he did not like to come out and look and say, you, you curse me. You curse me. And I said, wow pissed Albert off again. But the thing is, he wasn't dead. He didn't die that day. But uh, this many years gone by, I'm pretty sure he's been dead for a few by now. And so it's not just so terrible for me to make a mistake about the Fonz and, uh, you know, Joe Manco. 
Dirty Harry, all these guys. Clint Eastwood, Rawhide. He was in the movie, uh, Giant Tarantula from Hell, or whatever the big tarantula movie is. He played a pilot. It was his first role. He had a face mask on. He, you couldn't see him. It's been a long time. This time is coming. And so, uh, with my little mistake, I, I do apologize. And I thank Paula Curtis for letting me know. Paula Curtis, she let me know. She said, Clint is still alive. I'm like, oh. Darn, I gotta say something about it. But at least at this point, now that we've thought about it, we have time to think about what we could still do with and for Clint Eastwood. And if, if Henry Winkler is still alive, him too. If we get an opportunity to say something that they may be able to feel before they die. Maybe even why don't you just die already? Happy birthday.